I'm from Cincinnati. I've been here my whole life. I started as a teacher in 2006. In 2013, I became the principal at Oiler, um, and I've been here now. This is my seventh year as the principal. We have a neighborhood that is willing to thrive, trying to find ways to do better. Um, the community, the parents, the students are excited. So if someone said, can you tell me um, what one thing, I, I could only say that the word I would use would just be collaboration because there is no other way to do this without all stakeholders, including the students, families, um, community members, and then all the local businesses. Guys, I can't believe it's been uh, over a year since we started engaging with the Euler students. I, I just got an email this morning from Adeline, uh, actually with this, uh, which is gonna be an installation off of River Road as you enter into Lower Price Hill. And I was just so proud of the work uh, that we had done with the students. When Nehemiah first came to Euler, they decided to do the process of rebranding Little Price Hill with the seventh and eighth graders. And my class and the other class was very surprised because we were just a bunch of middle schoolers and we were just still been young and kids, but we all took the opportunity as a big leap to show our full potential as a class. The students took half of a year of school working with uh, the marketing people from Nehemiah to develop brands, to learn what branding is, to um, research, you know, what companies put into building a brand for their company. And um, they came up with several ideas for potential um, logos for the neighborhood and um, brought that to the community council and the community council voted on the one that they liked the best. So we decided to move down here, me and my sister, my mom, and my dad. I was six going on seven. Then I started attending Euler and been going there ever since. Doing pretty well, a lot of motivation, opportunities. That's this one here yeah. from, uh, from the eighth grade boys group. The brightness of the sun, then we incorporated uh, right back in the, in the logo here. All our intentions were just to have a logo that actually was for the present and the future of where Price Hill, not just the past. We had surveys out to get even more opinions. One of the questions was, how long have you been staying and Lord Price Hill, and most of the answers were more than eight years, and I found that kind of surprising. People were expecting change and improvement. I've been in Cincinnati since about 2002. I raised my four children here. My twin grandsons, Elijah and Isaiah, and I have been living here in this apartment for a little bit over a year. When we first moved here back in 02 or 03, my brother told me, don't come to this part of town because it was not a very safe place um, for a black person to come alone. But we were able to find a place here that was reasonably priced, so we moved in. After being here for a while, um, getting out into the community, meeting people, volunteering uh, at the different places where I do volunteer, I've gotten a, quite a different picture of the neighborhood. These are some of my designs. Most of my jewelry is one of a kind. I work with beads. I'm passionate about beads. I am a beadaholic. And I think this is a way of showing um, my neighbors, you know, this is what I do. This is what I create. You have something that you create and that you're passionate about, and you can do it also. 
On Sundays, we have open houses where people from the neighborhood come up, our friends and family members will come up and shop with us or sit down and have conversation with us. And it's a way for us to get to know people around us. Uh, we are a profit with a purpose, light duty manufacturing company uh, located right here in Lower Price Hill. Uh, and our company's mission is to build brands to create jobs and to change lives. The site at which Nehemiah is on actually was the site of a chemical company that burned the ground called the Sweet Queen City Barrel Company. Um, literally 15 years ago, it was up in flames. They couldn't even put the fire out because of the chemicals were burning and things like that. So an environmental hazard. No one would touch the property for over a decade. So with the help of the Port of Cincinnati, the county and some federal funds, uh, we were able to find the perfect piece of land built into an investment zone. And we built our new building up. We've been in full time for a little bit over a year now. And it's just been an amazing blessing for us to be a part of this uh, community on the rise, as we like to call it. So we've been able to have partnerships with several different organizations that are interested in coming in and, and um, providing a, not a different type of curriculum. They always align with the district curriculum, but um, providing maybe just a different experience. It allows us to just have opportunities to learn in a variety of ways. Before we start creating their logos, we start thinking about colors that represent at Lower Price Hill. So we put our colors together, then we decided what is Lower Price Hill represented by? We all, though, everybody knows about Lower Price Hill, so let's do LPH, and then probably put Lower Price Hill somewhere. That's what we know them by. So we did something with the LPH. I find it amazing how the rebranding of Lower Price Hill has already improved and expired the new remodeling of this beautiful building. We had a small grocery store in the neighborhood that closed about two years ago. This was a building next to Marjorie's grocery store. And it had been run by a family for a long time. So this store, when it closed, um, really left a gap for us uh, as far as like being able to have even a semblance of fresh foods, that sort of thing. So we're now going to be opening a, what will be a community-owned version of a grocery store. My vision for a large price hill is, I want my community to be proud of what it looks like and what it is. It feels great to know that I was a part of this because it's something bigger than what I am. And I'm just glad I had the opportunity to be a part of it.